is worth a thousand words, but um, not when it doesn't fit in your space. That's why designer Lori Mansky from the Lori U Collection is here with us to show how to pick the perfect piece for our home. And of course, over there, John Todd Partridge right there making a masterpiece. How can you paint without looking? <laughs> so anyway, okay, so all the paintings that we're looking at on our set are John Todd's. Yes. Um, and so they're, they're all sort of different styles, but sort of the same ilk. But we, we walk into a place and we're saying, you know, I really want to start an art collection. I want to start working towards, you know, a bigger collection, but what do I do to start? Well, I think you start with venue because you're not limited to galleries. You mm -hmm. can also buy from a, a store like mine mm -hmm. or you can buy directly at the artist studio like Winter Street Studios. Mm -hmm. Every second Saturday they have an open studio so you can check out where they're working. It's very cool. So should we walk in with somebody who knows about art or can we just walk in and get a feeling ourselves? Like yes. if we went to that, uh, what did you say, Winter Street uh -huh. Gallery, if I walked in there myself? You can wander. If you're by yourself, mm -hmm. it's fine. They're very friendly. You know, mm -hmm. everyone's there to hand you a glass of wine or a glass uh -huh. of tea. And oh, good. Wine, art, and spending money. Yes. <laughs> Maybe that's Actually, a combination. Very, yeah, very dangerous combination. Uh -huh. but not really. I mean, it's fun. It's okay. a fun thing. So we walk around. We, let's pretend we have our wine. And, yes. and we're walking around friends. You know, you don't know anything about art. <laughs> I don't know anything about art. But I walk over to this piece, and I'm like, this is gorgeous. I love it because it, it kind of has the accessories on it. Pearls. Yeah. Well, there are five tips to mm -hmm. ask when you go in to buy art. Mm -hmm. And the first thing is an icebreaker. It's just who is the artist and where mm -hmm. are they from? Because location oftentimes will influence the look, the style of a piece. Mm -hmm. You know, like a piece from an artist in Hawaii is going to look completely different. Well, this is general, but mm -hmm. different from someone in New York. Right. You know, so they've got a different surrounding and different influences. Mm -hmm. um, the so the, I like the fact that there, these are, you know, you can walk in and say, I want something from Houston. I want something local. Right. Okay, so you, so I walk in, I'm saying, okay, I want something local, and I'm, I'm feeling this piece. Okay, so right. what else? And John Todd is a local artist, mm -hmm. which is great. Another thing you can do is walk in and say, is this the artist's first solo show? Okay. Because that'll kind of influence the value of a piece. Mm -hmm. um, if it's their first show, you may find something you love and get it at a great value, mm -hmm. because they're fresh artists, they're new. If someone's more collected, it's mm -hmm. going to be a little more expensive, but, you know, still don't have to pass it up, mm -hmm. but an artist's so, first solo show is a good place question. to start. Okay, yeah. so solo show, uh, where are they from, right. okay, what's next? Um, ask to see their earlier art. A lot of galleries will keep other pieces from this artist's mm -hmm. earlier series in stock, so you can see what they've been working on and the progression to their newest series. Oh, good. This is John Todd's newest series here mm -hmm. in Rhapsody. John, what was one of your um, older ones?